If you've got a Jeep Wrangler JK and after a heavy rain, you get water in the passenger side floorboard, the cowl drain could be clogged up with leaves or debris. Now, this is a kind of a known issue that we've had, but did they make any changes for the JL? Let's find out. What's going on guys? My name's Brandon Hainline, your Jeep Informant, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss any new Jeep information, like recalls, up-to-date TSBs, and just things you didn't know. Now, I've been fixing water leaks on Jeep Wranglers for a pretty long time. Now, recently I did a video on the differences between the JL and the JK hard top and soft tops of where water could leak at and the potential water leak areas and what new changes they made on the JL to prevent water leaks. Now, I'll leave that up in the top right corner, but there's one thing I didn't go over and was reminded by a loyal customer. Now, Eric here was watching the Jeep JL water leak playlist that I have, and you know, he went through all the different videos and I never addressed the cow area, and which honestly, I probably should have. I just didn't think about it, and Eric was nice enough to mention it, and Eric, here you go, now I'm going over it, buddy. Now, he was right, I totally forgot the cow drains, and all my years of doing water leaks, that's something that, that, that's pretty common. Now, first we're gonna take a look at the JK and see what type of water management system it has for the cow area. Now, it's not the greatest, but we're gonna take a look at it anyway and see how easily it is to get clogged up. We're gonna see where it drains at and how it can get clogged. Then we're gonna take a look at the JL and see what changes they made there. Now, let's get started, let's head out to the Jeeps. Now the area that we're going to be addressing on both the JK and the JL is in between the two wiper blades and they call this the cowl area. Now these little seven slots here for grills, that's where air enters and goes into the HVAC system which eventually comes out of your vents. Now if you look a little closer, you can see that this mesh grill here is actually pretty large and water gets in and air gets in and also leaves in debris. Now the water drains out and goes down up underneath the vehicle, but what happens with the leaves and stuff that get in between there? Now as you can see, I've already started to take the wiper arms off. Now here's a little trick once you get the nut off, just take the wiper arm and be in an up position and jiggle it like I'm doing here. and it will actually eventually come off if you just give it just a few seconds. It'll start to loosen up off that shaft. All right, now just a heads up for you guys that want to take this cow off, this thing is not easy to get off. These plastic rivets are, are a pain in the you know what, and to get this thing up it is aggravating, but you might have to do it if your drain is clogged, and you'll know your drain is clogged when your floorboard's wet. All right, now once we got that cowl off, you can see the dirt and debris that has settled down in this cowl area. Now that oval section right there that you're seeing is the actual drain itself. Now there's, you know, this drain here is the top part and everything goes down there and then drains down below. Now that hole gets even smaller down below so you can see how this could be a problem if debris gets down in that hole it'll actually clog up the lower section of the drain. So let's go ahead and put some water in it and see where this water comes out at. Now, where this water comes out at is actually on the body seam. As you can see here, there's the right side running board or the step bar, and to the left of that is the body seam. And you can see that little opening right there. That's where the water comes out. There's several of those holes where water drains out. And if that gets clogged up with small debris, guess what? It fills up and goes back into your AC system. Now, that can leak there, or it can get clogged up right here in that little oval area and back up and go in your HVAC system also. Now this is a perfect time to explain how the water actually gets inside the car. Now as you can see right here, this is where the air goes into the vehicle, into the HVAC system, but how in the world does water get that high when you have this large opening over here to the left? Well, now remember the pinch weld, if it gets clogged up, then all this water will just back up and keep rising until it goes in to the air duct system right there. Now let's take a look at the JL to see what kind of changes they made to fix this problem. And as you can see there, there's already that seven slot grill that we had in the JK for the cowl area now, but the JL has this little section around the wiper arms that allows water and air to enter also. But if you look closer, they listen to us guys. They put some chicken wire or something behind this 
this grill here to keep the large debris out. This is wonderful. Thanks, Jeep. We really appreciate it. These are the kind of changes we were looking for. Now, compare this to the JK and look what you got here. You can see how much more larger debris can get past that JK and clog the areas up than the JL will. So this is going to be huge for the JL. Now that we know that this cow has a screen or chicken wire behind it to keep the large debris out, let's take this cow off and see what it looks like up underneath in case anything does get past it. Now, as you can see here, I'm removing the wiper arms just using this little back and forth jiggling motion. And obviously it's a lot easier on the JL, but the JK is a little more tough, but you know, it just comes with age. So here's this plastic cow. We'll go ahead and take this off. Now this just held on by some clips, just pop right out a lot easier than the JK. Now let's take a peek in here and see where this thing drains at. And honestly, I really can't see exactly there's no specific one hole that it drains in. Hmm, that's weird. Can't really tell exactly, you know, where it's going, but I do know it's going somewhere back in this general area here, but I'm not taking the whole car apart to find out that. So we know where it drains at, and it's gonna drain down here at the uh, pinch weld. And to the left is your left side running board, left front running board, and you can see here, that the water is coming right out of that pinch weld. Now, this pinch weld is in an area where I think it's subject to get dirt and debris in. The left front wheel is right in front of it, so this could get clogged up with dirt and debris, which we've seen over time. We've seen that in the older JKs, and even possibly pinched if it's lifted wrong in the wrong spot. You know, um, or rock crawling, whatever you want to do, you know, if that pinches this area, right. then it's going to obviously uh, reduce the flow of water, which could cause it to back up. So this is something we need to keep an eye on and make sure it's flowing uh, like it should be. And what you're seeing here is a nice, healthy flow. Now, when I was going back together with this cow and wiper arms, I noticed the glass has some markings in it that the JK does not have. And these markings in the glass are for windshield wiper alignment. Now, that's interesting that the JK doesn't have it, but I'll tell you why. On the JL, there is no keyway on the wiper shafts. And on the JK, there is a keyway. So you would need this, this wiper arm alignment marking if you had a keyway on the, the wiper arm shaft. So interesting fact, fun fact, so uh, enjoy that one. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. I hope this gives you a little more insight on the, uh, the water management system for the cowl area. Now, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. Be more than happy to answer them the best I can. Don't forget about the Amazon uh, Jeep Informant Store. Pretty cool. I got some cool stuff in there. Been adding stuff every day. I got JL accessories, JK accessories, Jeep apparel, and just pretty cool, neat stuff. There's a really cool, neat puzzle I just added in there the other day. So uh, check that out. I'll leave that in the description below. Uh, anything that you purchase from Amazon, uh, the price is not raised, but a small portion does go to help this channel. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for using that. Take care. I hope you're smarter now than you were when you started. Have a great day.